Now this is Arizona Rocketry Team's 12X Fliss Kits Drake. Stands 29 feet 2 inch tall. It's got about 11 foot 2 inch fin span on it. Plan on flying on our Research O motor. Be a dual thrust O5000. So, how, how's the motor made? What, 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 do you, what have you done to it? Well, put some magic powders in a bowl and stir it up with some goo. Uh -huh. And then uh, we add some other goo and it makes the goo turn to now rubber. This is like a two stage motor. It's got like a blue and then a white. Yeah, so that's in theory what's supposed to happen. It's got a, uh, a base grain of uh, Infinity Super Blue. Mm -hmm. And then up on top of that, there's a whole mess of 83% uh, solids Tiger Tail. Mm -hmm. So in theory, what should happen is the blue should give us about two and a half seconds of boost. And then that grain will shut down and the copious amounts of Gorilla Glue that we're using to hold the grain in will hold the casting tube in while the Tiger Tail acts as a sustain motor for the next five seconds. But isn't the Tiger Tail still going to burn while the blue's burning? Oh yeah, absolutely. And that's included in the calculations for the, the boost. It should be about 1,500 pounds off the pad for two and a half seconds and then it drops to about 700 pounds for sustain. And so. you static test these type of loads, right? All the time. So this isn't the first time you've done this? Uh, this particular motor or this kind of motor? Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, yes and no, I guess, in that order, right? Is this the part where I can just say www.rocketsmagazine.com and, and be done? No, Take the no, fifth? no, no, no. I appreciate the plug, but the, the camera's still going. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, fingers crossed, I have no idea what's going to happen. Okay, at well, all. that's what we want to hear. Yep. All right, that's why we're here. We're in the middle of nowhere to try shit and see what happens. Exactly, it'll either be cool or really cool, so what could possibly go wrong? Well, good luck. Thank you. Not sure what we're going to get for altitude. We're hoping for about 3,500 feet. Uh, team consists of Jay Dennis, Roy Palmentier, Greg Pullman, Chris uh, Chang, Joyce Chan, and the motors made by Jacob Dennis and David Reese. And we have Claire out helping us, and Joyce taking pictures all over the place. Okay, now I know there's just wires on, on this thing in the back. What's that for? That's just to stabilize the fins due to the uh, unique configuration Jim Fliss came up with. The guys wear just keep them from flapping all over the place and keep them tucked in tight. Well, maybe you should tell Jim to make things that are upscale a lot easier. Well, uh, we talked about sending this to Jim and say, okay, you can kit it now, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> but we're looking forward to a good flight out here at Airface 18. All right, well, good luck. All right, thank you. You guys ready? All right, three, two, one, pictures. And one more. Going again? All right, you guys ready? There's a backpack on, one of the shirts doesn't show, but whatever.
Okay, so you guys flew the Drake. Well, yeah, we flew the Drake, you could say that. First of all, tell me who you are. <laughs> I'm Roy Palmentier, this is Jay Dennis, and we were the, uh, the team that flew the 12X upscale Drake. We're Arizona rocketry team. And uh, What went wrong? Best as we can figure right now is some old curative and some old binder. And when that, uh, the outer skin's of the grain cured, and when it went off, it burned through and just took everything out about a tenth of a second in so totally destroyed the lower end upper end went about 60 feet and then came down and landed crosswise on the tower took out the tower uh, the unistrut rail didn't damage the trailer or the launch stand itself but uh, the rocket was pretty much 100 percent loss in all aspects with the exception of three parachutes and and the bear <laughs> bear so you're gonna do it again rebuild it don't know, we're talking about a different project, new project, bigger project, we're not sure when, but we'll be back out here next year with something. Right. So, it's a great field, it's a great place to come, Cloudbusters put on a great show, Rockets does a great DVD and magazine article on it, it's just one of the premier launch sites in the U.S. that we really enjoy pulling out to. Yeah, well, to be honest with you, I really want to see that thing get up in the air, I'm really sorry it's gone. We, we haven't said that we won't try again, but I think we're going to try something else next year first. That'd be interesting, I'm sure. You guys keep it up. Thanks, Bob. You guys have a great day. All right, you have a safe trip. All right, bye. www.rocketsmagazine.com